Hi, this is Matt from AppWorks and another video in the series for the new add-on feature in FileMaker Pro 19.1. So this one, we're gonna take a look at the image gallery. So in these videos, what I do is I start with just a plain vanilla database, just called Demo. It has one base table that comes with it, uh, which actually we're not even gonna use. And to go to the add-on feature, I just go to layout mode, and then I get these three normal tabs over here. And I'm gonna choose the add-ons tab and then click plus in the bottom left corner. These are the different add-ons I can choose, and I'm going to look at Photo Gallery. So when I grab this one, um, I can drag it onto my layout. As with a lot of the other ones, um, uh, we'll see some, some basic options. So first of all, what this one does is it shows me a list of all the images in my sample. And um, in, a, in a view that's very different than what you can normally get from FileMaker. This one, we're going to like dive under the surface and look a little bit more carefully at what elements are in use here. So first of all, um, I'm gonna go and go back to layout mode, choose the object and ungroup it. And that allows me to do a couple things. First of all, if I don't need my configuration tool, I can move this somewhere else, like into the header uh, or put it wherever I really want it. Or it doesn't even have to be on here because users might not need to see that. Second, I'm going to resize my layout width a little bit and height. And I'm going to modify my object um, so that it has it's pinned to all four edges. So yeah, I'll take a look at my pinning, and I'll choose uh, all four edges. Now when I go to browse mode again, when I resize my layout, I'll see that it will kind of grow to fit, which is pretty cool. So and a couple of other things about this. If I click on one of these images, it'll actually go to a layout. This is a standard card window in FileMaker. And I can change the, the uh, dimensions, the width and height ratio of an image. So if I say 1 to 2.3, then what's going to happen when I close it is that image gets squished. Right? I can change it back, and I can make it like 5, and it'll make it even wider. So you can take a look at your original image and use its ex existing math to calculate its width and height. Um, that's a pretty basic feature in uh, FileMaker, get image um, container attribute, I think, get con object container. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I use it all the time um, to figure out the, the, the width and height uh, of your object. <clears throat> um, the other thing that's really cool on this one in the config is you can choose how many rows, uh, like how you want the data to be viewed. So first of all, you see the basic settings here that shows your images. Um, and interestingly, the photo field is base 64. Stick around, we're gonna get to that in a minute. But on the settings area, we can choose um, the direction, whether we want this to be by rows or columns. So let's say I want it to be only two columns of width. I'll choose columns and I'll put two. And then when I click save, it doesn't immediately save, but when I resize, that causes it to re, uh, refresh. And then I see now I have exactly two columns of width, which is pretty cool. Let's say I want more white space in between. One of the other built-in great features is I can just go down to settings and say I want more margin, like say maybe 20 pixels of space. As with before, if I resize and come back, it uh, refreshes, and now I have a lot more white space in my image. Okay, let's look under the surface a little bit. So this comes with... Uh, when I bring this add-on into FileMaker, several things come with it. One of them, if I go to that Manage Database, is it comes with two new tables of data. So one of them is my sample data. Um, so in your database, you might want to use your own image system or use this sample data um, table and import your images into it. And then it also comes with a photo gallery, like a configuration um, uh, table. So in my sample data, one of the things I really want you to look at is that I have a standard photo, and that's a container field. If your database is hosted and you use secure storage or external storage or whatever you do, that's just going to work. But then there's another function here called Base64, and it uses an unstored calculation that converts your image to a Base64 encoding using a function in FileMaker you don't really see very often, Base64 encode RFC. And that puts it into a format that the JavaScript web viewer can read. Because remember, the way these add-ons work is they, uh, they are a web viewer. So this whole entire object is just a web viewer that loads a JavaScript code and has this one checkbox down here at the bottom that's checked um, to allow FileMaker to read JavaScript data. 
A couple of other things that come along for the ride with this one is if I go to manage custom functions, it actually brings in a couple of custom functions that it uses also uh, for the add-on. So those are things you don't ever have to mess with, um, but just know that they're there. Um, so if you make a change uh, as I did when I was playing with this one, and let's say that you wanna look at all of your data, so I change the view of this to table view, and so I can see, oh, these are my images. Maybe I want to change the, you know, this one, or maybe I want to add a new image, make a new record, and call it some test, and stick, you know, some image in there, um, three by three, and then, you know, bring an image, and I don't have anything right now. Um, when you do that, and then you go back to your demo and you click on an image, it's going to look at that layout in the view that you changed it in. So if you change it to list view or table view, it's going to break. So I. Uh, yeah, that's not something that you want to do, um, but just be aware of that. So I thought it was kind of fun when I did that. And to fix it, it's pretty easy. I just change it back to form view, and then this layout shows me all of the images in the database. In this view, this is the standard FileMaker photo, and so it's using the field called photo, but the one that it's showing me on the web viewer is actually the Base64 encoded version of the photo. Notice also, with a lot of these add-ons, you get other fields that are sort of troubleshooting fields off to the side. You don't really need to see the primary key. You don't really want to see the base 64. If I make this wider, I can actually take a look at that data and see what's going on um, with the database. And in fact, we can look in the base 64 and see this data here, this very long string, is the text of what that image actually is. And I think I just dragged it into the image field accidentally. Um, so it's pretty interesting to see kind of how that uh, Base64 encoding. Base64, what that means is it just takes an image and converts it to something that can be stored as text, which then can be sent um, to other platforms uh, very easily. So that's basically how this one works. Um, the, the gallery is pretty great and very simple to use, and I think this is going to find a lot of utility for people who want to have images um, viewed in a way that's much more scrollable and pleasant for users. Thanks for your time.